Hi guys, how are you doing? As you can see, we're outdoors. I thought it would be fun to do our weekly vibes outdoors. I worked all day and it has been beautiful. So I thought there's no way I'm missing the evening out in this gorgeous weather. And just so that you know, yes, our candles right here for us, so no worries. So what we'll do, like always, is I'll give you a little bit of time to think about which number resonates with you, one, two, or three. Whatever number you choose, go to that part of the video and find out what your week looks like. So you've chosen group one. What do we need to know about love, money, worry, and advice for this week? Yeek. When it comes to love, we have the tower. So somewhere in your friend, family, or coworker group, there's going to be a major change. And it's like, it's not just a little minor change. It is a huge change. So expect maybe a fight with a friend or you might find out somebody's getting divorced or there's just some kind of chaos that's gonna be happening around your friends, family, or maybe even you. So just keep your head up this week. If you find somebody that needs help, help them. And if it's you, God bless you, you'll get through this because when the tower shows up, it always shows that little bit of light that comes that you start again. When it comes to money, we've got the Ten of Cups. So when it comes to money, everything seems to be pretty good. And there may be a case where for some, you might inherit money, uh, uh, inherit money or come into money through family ties or maybe even a job opportunity. And when it comes to finances, everything's good. Everything's holding well. It seems like you got everything in order, so nothing to worry about there. When it comes to worry, we got the hangman. I think when it comes to a lot of the decisions in your life, you think one thing, but your perspective is different. Maybe when you're talking to somebody, you'll just kind of go along to get along, but you think so much differently. And I think there's been a lot of things in your life that maybe you've had this firm belief in, whether that be religion or politics or anything. And now over time, over experience, your, your thoughts and your, the way you think about it have, ch have changed. And that's quite the challenge because nobody wants to give up on something that they believe in fully, but there's a change. There's a change there happening. And you can either go with it and make it easy for yourself or you can go against it and it'll just add time to your, to your, no, I don't want to say suffering, but to your confusion, to your confusion. When it comes to advice, we have the three of cups. There is friends, family, co-workers, people that you know that want to, want to be with you, celebrate you. They want to enjoy you, enjoy your life. They want, you to, they want to see you happy. So there's a lot of people that love and support you. So this is a time when you look for love and support. This is the time when the people that count will show up. So... As always, we have our angel answers. Beep. So think of a question or a situation that has a yes, no, maybe as its answer, or maybe you're just looking for some advice or something to think about. So do you have your question? Your angel answer is no need to worry. Your worries and concerns regarding your questions are unnecessary. Your angels have the situation well in hand and everything is going to turn out perfectly. Obsessing over the subject isn't helpful. The energy of fear and worry only slows down the eventual manifesting of your desires. 
Visualize loving and happy outcomes and keep your thoughts positive. Very soon, you will wonder why you were worrying about this at all. So you've chosen group two. What do you need to know about love, money, worry, and advice for this week? For love, we've got the nine of cups. Guys, this is good. It means that there's a lot of social activity around. There's a lot of good times, you know, um, partying, maybe a few drinks every now and then. Um, this could be somebody close to you actually coming into a bit of money. Uh, lotto wins could be this. This is a card that I would just be like, yes, things are just flowing well. Things are going well. If there's social invitations, take them. This is a good week. Enjoy it. When it comes to money, we have the Ace of Swords. So are you clear about what your money and finances actually are? Have you looked at them? Have you been honest with yourself? This may be a time where you may need to look at your finances, see where your money's going, and you might need to make a few cuts. When it comes to work, this may be a card in which you may have a few words with a coworker or even somebody who's a little higher up. This is saying, you know, watch your tone, watch your words, um, make sure that it's worth it if you're going to say it because you do have truth on your side, but being right doesn't necessarily make things right or get you anywhere. Just sometimes, just think about it. When it comes to worry, we have the hermit. You just feel like you're just out of the loop. You'd rather be alone, spend time alone. You'd rather be sleeping than have to deal with the real world. It seems like you just, it's too much. It's overwhelming and it's tiring. And for some, it's, it's like you just, maybe you need to find something new or find a new purpose and you're seeking that and you're trying to get away from all the noise that you hear from family and friends saying what you should do when you need a little bit of time to figure it out for yourself. When it comes to advice, we got the Knight of Swords, so don't be afraid to rush in and do something. You know, sometimes we think things to death to the point where we don't do them, but if you actually go and do it, you might surprise yourself, and you'll never regret what you've done. You'll only regret the things that you didn't do, right? So somewhere in your life, be the Knight, the knight of Swords and go in and rush in and have a new idea, a new thought, and do something new for yourself. So as always, we have the angel answers. This is where you get to ask a yes, no, maybe question, or you may just want to have some advice or something to think about. So do you have your question? The angel answer is, it's up to you. It's up to you. The end result of the situation you asked about is entirely in your hands. You can affect the outcome by taking a proactive approach to solving any challenges. Stand in your own power and have confidence that you have what it takes to bring about a happy ending. Don't wait for someone else to rush in and take charge. In order to come to a successful conclusion, this situation requires your unique perspective and experience. So you've chosen group three. What do we need to know about love, money, worry, and advice for this week? When it comes to love, we've got the two of swords. So when it comes to somebody in your family, your friend or your coworker group, you're kind of on two minds. You're not quite sure about them. You're not sure if they're being truthful. You're not sure if they're telling you the right stories. Um, maybe you're blind to what's actually happening. You feel as though you think one way, but the situation goes another and you're just confused. You don't understand why things aren't working out. So somebody in your love, family, coworker group, you're just indecisive about them because they're not always there for you. Do you know what I mean? When it comes to money, 
we've got the seven of wands. So here you're gonna be defending yourself. When it comes to work, you may have to kind of say, um, no, this is what I did in work. You have to defend yourself. There's probably gonna be people that are gonna be trying to push you under the bus, put a little bit of blame on you. Your bosses might be kind of saying, hey, we asked you for that and you'll have to defend yourself, but you'll have what you need to defend yourself. And when it comes to finances, there may be something that will happen, whether that be a speeding ticket or some, some kind of financial glitch where you'll have to you know, show identification or there's just gonna be something that's just gonna be a little mishap type of thing. When it comes to worry, we've got the Four of Swords. So there's a part of you that feels left out. There's a part of you that feels like you're either being left out or cut out and you just don't understand why. You're trying to just let things lie. You're trying to just, you know, not confront the situation, but the sword is hanging over your head. Your thoughts are getting in the way. So right now, this week, I would say lay low like you have been, but this is going to come to pass. So whatever it is that you're trying to avoid in your life, you can avoid it for now, but it is going to come back until you face it. And when it comes to advice, we've got the King of Cups. This is a great time to depend on those friends that give you structure. You know, the ones that can make you go, oh yeah, that, that sounds more reasonable. The ones that really give you the great advice, but they give it knowing your emotional ways and knowing what you need emotionally. For some, this could be a man that will come into your life that will help you and they'll be just one of those really friendly, lovely guys or lovely men that have a heart of gold on them. So, you know, you may be helped by somebody like that, but this is just saying, be your own, be your own advocate, be your own Love yourself. Love yourself. Don't stress about what others think or say or do. This is a time to love yourself. This is a time to depend on those who love you, that build structure into your life. It's a very good card. So, as always, I have our angel cards. And this is the time when you get to ask a yes, no, maybe, or maybe just something to think about or a little bit of advice. Do you have your question? Your angel answer is yes. Yes. The answer to your question is yes. If you want a more detailed reply on your inquiry, you can ask additional questions and pull more cards. So guys, I'm out in my garage and I realized that by answering yes, that means you get a second card. So for your second card, let's pick one together. Are you gonna help Jackson? This one? Communicate clearly. This situation requires very precise and careful communication. Don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need from them. In-person discussions are preferable, but if that's not possible, make sure that your communication method is very thorough. This card can indicate that there's been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge for the parties involved. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so everyone can start moving forward again. So there you go, my friends. Another weekly vibes done. And as always, I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. And until the next time we chat, cheerio, take care, and God bless.